hey, did you hear what happened to Tommy Rifkin? Yeah, he's a colonial now. No, I am not kidding. Yeah, Tommy Rifkin, goofball, under the tracks Rifkin from Breland Avenue is a colonial. You know, like Ben Franklin. And as this is my hand in front of me, I'm walking down State Street, not seeing anybody I know, when all of a sudden, out pops Tommy from some alley way up ahead of me. And I can see that he's wearing all this colonial crap. You know, like stockings and a triangle hat and those stupid pilgrim shoes and crap. And I can tell that it's him because I remember this geeky walk he has. So I remember that he owes me like 50 bucks that he blew at the track a few years ago. So I run up to him and I say, Tommy! And I swear to God, he looks at me and he says, may I pretty help you, sir? Or something like that. And I say, Tommy, it's me. And he looks at me like I'm nuts. So I just start talking to him and asking him where he's been living and stuff. And he says something like, I hold my estate in the great Commonwealth of Virginia. And I say, oh yeah, where? And he says, Williamsburg. And then it dawns on me, Tommy Rifkin is colonial. It, it, it's like uh, he's turned into one of those weird colonial people from Colonial Williamsburg. I'm telling you, it's like a cult down there. Once you start being colonial, it's hard to stop. It's kind of like its own form of brainwashing, really, is what it is. I mean, Tommy Rifkin? Colonial? What is that about?